everybody, my name is Shane Lindsay and thank you so much for stopping by on my video today. Today I have a super exciting video, this has been a long time coming. Lately I've been testing out different dupes for the KVD Good Apple Foundation Balm. If you guys haven't seen those in-depth reviews, I'll leave them linked down below. I do all day wear tests, testing out the foundations by themselves. So the two dupes that I have, both drugstore, this is the Milani Cream to Powder Foundation Balm. I have mine in the shade Buff 208. And the other one I have is the CoverGirl and Olay Simply Aegis Foundation. And I picked mine up in the shade 230 Classic Beige. I wanted to get shades that looked pretty similar to the KVD foundation. I reviewed a different color when I was doing the wear test for this foundation. So this one is a little bit darker. Hopefully it'll match me better. And I wanted to get something that was pretty similar to the Good Apple Foundation. What, Leo? You crying? What you crying for? <gasps> Cats are hanging out with me today while I film. There's Luna and Leo is right there. <laughs> I'm just beyond excited to be doing this video. I've been interacting with you guys a lot on the community tab on my YouTube channel. So thank you all so much for voting and this channel is for you guys. So if you ever want input on the content that I upload on this channel, definitely check out the community tab, subscribe, and then you can get those updates when I put polls up. This isn't going to be a full day wear test comparing them, more just like a first impression side by side to see what these foundations look like. Again, I already did full day wear tests for the Milani foundation and for the CoverGirl foundation and the KVD foundation. So I have wear tests for all of those three foundations individually, so definitely check them out. On one side of my face, I'm going to be using the KVD foundation, and then on the other side, I'm going to be using the Milani, and then I'll change and do the CoverGirl foundation. I'm going to be using the same sponges. These are all by Juno & Co microfiber sponges. These seem to work the best with the balm foundations and they pack on a lot of coverage. The yellow one is going to be the KVD Good Apple Foundation and then I'll be using the pink and blue one for the other foundations. The Juno & Co sponges are absolutely amazing. I think what I'm going to do as well is do a hydrating primer for my entire face. This is the Essence Prime and Studio Hydrating Skin Refreshing Primer. I've been using this a lot lately to describe what my skin is looking like right now. My skin is very textured right now. I obviously have acne and a lot of hyperpigmentation, uneven skin tone, and a lot of texture because of my acne. I have all these tiny little bumps all over my face, but a lot of the scabbing obviously adds texture, and my skin right now is actually normal to dry. I do get a little bit oily around the nose, but it's mainly dry and crusty, which is why I'm using a hydrating primer. I think I'm gonna put the KVD foundation on the left side of my face. So this is the KVD Good Apple Foundation Balm and I have mine in the shade Light uh, 012. This is definitely like a little bit goes a long way. There it is with one layer on my face. I'm going to continue to build it up just to try and cover up like this zit and a couple of these spots. Here is the foundation on my face. It definitely emphasizing some of the lines on my forehead. It's not doing the best job of covering up my um, breakouts right now. And it still feels very tacky. I remember seeing in my original wear test and review that I wasn't dry enough for this. So the hydrating primer definitely helped a little bit. Helped not it look so cakey, but if you can see on my nose where I have actual like dry crusty patches, it's clinging to the texture a lot. Let's go in with the Milani foundation on this side of my face. Already first impression, like <laughs> after dipping straight into that one, this one is a lot tougher. It's not as smooth. Already I can tell a huge difference. The KVD foundation is definitely 
more luminous and it was a lot easier to move around so more pliable the milani foundation definitely like is a lot stiffer in consistency but surprisingly where i have acne the texture doesn't look too too bad it just looks a lot heavier on the face than the kvd one it's definitely interesting to see both of these foundations side by side to see what they look like but i'm actually surprised the color match is pretty good for both of them. Like I wanted to make sure that the foundations matched. Um, so I'm definitely pleasantly surprised. Like I said, I got the Milani one in the shade Buff 208. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the Milani foundation and I'll be right back. Now for the CoverGirl foundation. So I'm gonna go in with this blue Juno & Co sponge. <laughs> this one is definitely a lot similar in texture and consistency. Like it's a lot more malleable and easy to move. Hopefully this color match is all right. This one is definitely a lot more liquidy <laughs> than the Milani foundation. All right, I'm pleasantly surprised. Again, I did pretty decently with the color match for the foundation. I feel like I got a lot more coverage with the CoverGirl foundation. But otherwise, upon first impression, seeing them side by side, they look almost identical. I might have just a little bit more CoverGirl foundation on, so I'm going to go back in with the KVD foundation just to match. What do you think? Honestly, I feel like the CoverGirl one is a better dupe than the Milani one. Consistency wise, the CoverGirl feels pretty much the same as the KBD um, as far as application. And then the CoverGirl one is kind of dewy like the KVD foundation. I feel like I'm getting the same amount of coverage on both sides. Everybody keeps saying the Milani is the dupe, but I honestly think the CoverGirl one is the dupe. Very interesting because I thought like after wearing this by itself that it was very similar, but doing it side by side, my opinion is definitely changing. I'm gonna have to put an entire face of makeup on. I'm gonna put everything on top of this and I'm gonna see how it all looks and wears side by side like this. I'm gonna have to do the wear test later in the day. I'm actually going to the chiropractor and I'm gonna be there for a little bit. So I have to take my makeup off and everything you guys know or I've been to the chiropractor and be face down and all that stuff. And I just don't wanna deal with a full face of makeup while I'm face down on a table. And I have to get some massage work done as well because I've been in a lot of pain lately. <laughs> I'm gonna do the wear test a little bit later in the day. Um, to do the side-by-side -side wear test and I'm beyond excited to see how this compares. They feel pretty much the same sitting on top of the skin as well, but wow, I'm shocked. <laughs> Hello, it's now five o'clock. I got back from the chiropractor. I was there for way too long. I have the foundation and everything on. I have the same makeup on both sides, just different foundation. So the KVD is on this side. The CoverGirl is on this side. I have Essence bronzer and blush on my cheek and essence highlight on my lips i have an essence stay eight hour liquid lipstick this one is in the shade down to earth and then i just have a mascara on i'm actually using the essence lash princess mascara in waterproof and then i have just a little bit of got to be glued um, in my eyebrows and a little bit of like tinted brow gel from wet and wild so that is what i've got on my face so again, this is the CoverGirl side. Oh, and I did set it with Slay All Day Dry Cosmetics setting spray, and then I just did Laura Mercier underneath. For concealer, I used the ColourPop Fresh Concealer, so it's the same concealer on both sides, but you guys, like, I just asked my boyfriend, I was like, which side is which? And I said, which side looks better? And he said, this side looks like smoother, but he said, this side looks more natural. So this side has the KVD, this side has the CoverGirl, I honestly cannot tell a difference. Like seriously, I feel like they look the same. And this line is from my mask. <laughs> so pardon me, like I took, like I washed my face and everything and I still have a huge line from my mask. That's how I was like face down for an hour. <laughs> That's what everything's looking like. I'm going to wear this as long as I can, but I wanted to do just kind of, you know, obviously same makeup on both sides, do a comparison this way. 
I am shocked. I'll definitely show you guys what it looks like outside and everything to see if we can tell a difference out there, but I'll keep you guys posted and I'll be right back. All right, so here I am in front of my window. This side is the KVD. And this side is the CoverGirl. I am noticing more creasing with the CoverGirl here, especially like in my smile lines and stuff. But otherwise, like shade-wise, they both look pretty much the same. I can't really tell a difference, so I'm interested to see how they both wear side by side. Hello, it's the end of the night and I want to take my face off. It's almost been five hours that I've been wearing the foundation side by side. I asked my mom, I was like, mom, I have two different foundations on. Which do you like better? She was like, you have two different foundations on? Your face looks the same on both sides. Again, this side is the KVD foundation and this side is the CoverGirl foundation and both of them seriously look exactly the same. I have a little bit more texture emphasis here and some separation on the nose on this side more. I'm settling into some fine lines on this side. But overall, both of them look exactly the same. I'm seriously surprised. Definitely, this is a dupe for the KVD foundation. This is a dupe more than the Milani Cream to Powder foundation. Highly suggest this if you have normal to dry skin. It's very moisturizing, full coverage, and half the price. And this isn't a brand new foundation, so you can find this more easily. I am so shocked, you guys. Like, can you tell a difference? Thank you all so much for watching, and uh, thank you for supporting this little mini series of the KVD Good Apple Dupes. If there are any other dupes that you guys know of for high end foundations, please let me know in the comment section. Message me on Instagram. I would love to know some more dupes. I like finding and testing these out because it's a lot of fun seeing the different things out there, and I definitely want to save some coin and I want to save you guys some coin as well. So, thank you all so much for watching today, and have an amazing day. Bye.